thine holy name to be with us here today in this ceremony that we are about to perform. Not only do we ask for thy presence in this ceremony that we're about to perform, but we ask for thy blessings throughout the tenureship of this facility and this institution throughout its duration, throughout its time of existence and serving the people of this village and beyond. All this we pray if you will bless us. Won't forget to give thy name, the honor, the praise, and the glory from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Selah. As you can see behind me, we have Ayara Safie Health Center and today is the grand opening. So we'll be interacting with the pioneers of this initiative, some people from the diaspora as well as some locals in this community to find out how they feel about this initiative and what to expect in the coming years. Stay with me as I bring you more. My name is Charity Kesewa from Pong. Yeah, my name is Solomon Afia, Municipal Chief Executive Commander at the Niagara for Abrim Municipal Assembly. 
You know, there's a massive breakthrough because of the fact that at long last there is a health center at this place. Initially, that was not it. How do you personally feel about this initiative? Now, for me, this is the day the Lord has made and we will surely rejoice and we will be glad in it. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, keeps on saying that development is about us. We need the, we need the collaboration and cooperation of all stakeholders. The private sector, the civil society, the non-profit organization, the chiefs, the market women, the, fisher, the fishermen, all of us holistically and collectively to make sure that we bring development to the people. So for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, building this facility for the people of that commander and, and its environment, simply for us as a municipality, in Adidam, what the president ideals and goals of bringing development to the doorstep of Odawa Gardia. A healthy society is a healthy country. A healthy individual is a healthy country. And for us, this facility has saved the government and the people of Ghana a lot of money. Because the money we have used to build facility here will go to other community. That is all that we want. Oh, I feel very great. I mean, for the, the natural community that's here and, and we diasporas coming over and help put put into the land over here and, and give give uh, the community something they can really need. And uh, I think it's great. Mm. All right. So what do you think the difference is going to be with now that we have this, um, you know, facility? Yeah, I think it's going to be a difference. I'm not familiar with how the people been getting to the doctor, getting a uh, clinical health before, but I know with this building right here and their vicinity is right here, it'd be much easier for, the, for them to get here and get help if they need it, you know. All right, at this juncture, I'd like you to look into the camera and to encourage any diaspora out there on why it's imperative to come back to the homeland yes. and impact. Yes, I think it's very important to come back to the homeland. I'm from initially from uh, the USA, St. Louis, Missouri area, and I've been. This is my third trip to Ghana, and I'm somewhat a part of this because I put into it along with my brother as well as the Pennies who organized this. Sabaye is something that was started in St. Louis, Missouri by Penny, mm. so he had brought it all the way over here with his village. I think this is a a great production that the Penny has uh, uh, did here and uh, it's sorely needed and uh, I'm sure everybody will appreciate it. It's been a long time coming, it's been a long journey, mm -hmm. but the Pennies persevered and it is now open. This mm -hmm. is their open uh, house cer ceremony mm -hmm. and hey, it's a great job. Whatever, what can I say about it? It's, it's been a, he did a great job. Well, I know Sambaye and the uh, Pennies had a vision of putting together and, and helping to put a clinic uh, in this area of uh, Dutch Commenda. So they were offered uh, land here at Dutch Commenda and they built this clinic in order to help the community at uh, Dutch Commenda. And they also built homes here at Dutch Commenda. So this is part of Sabaye's effort in order to, to, to do, help the uh, health care situation here at Dutch Commando. Okay, so we spoke to some of the leaders of this community and they made us understand that Ghanaians usually have issues with maintenance. So before you go, I'd like you to look straight into the camera and put a word of advice out there to the to the Ghanaians out there in this community on how to, you know, keep this facility and make it, you know, beneficial to other people. Yes, uh, I understand that uh, maintenance is normally a problem. We need to follow up and continue to uh, work. This is a work in progress, so it never stops, even though the facility may be here now, but it's always going to need uh, maintenance and it's always going to need people to, to help and anybody that can to help volunteer to do their part in order to uh, keep this facilities up and running. My name is Honorable Cosmos Goku Basau, Assembly Member for Dutch Commander Electra Area. Mm. All right, so this is a very great you know achievement you know in this community how do you personally feel about it oh i feel happy uh, as uh, i would say this is the day the lord has made and mm. i think all of us everybody in the community must be rejoiced and be glad in, in it because it's something that we'll be hearing for and uh, if fortunately uh we've got it from benevolent i think we must mm. be happy 
Hmm. All right. So before you go, I'd like you to look into the camera and um put a word of you know advice to your community members and a word of encouragement to the organizers and you know those who were involved in this monumental you know edifice. Oh, well, uh, first of all, I will just say straight to those who the financiers of this monumental edifice that God surely bless them and add more grease to their elbows to do more, not only in Dutch Commander, but in any other lecture area that they find themselves in. I think God should, you know, add more grease to their elbows to do more, not only for Dutch Commander, as I said, area. And again, you know, uh, my biggest worry, and I hope I have to work hard towards that. Ghana, we have a problem, you know, uh, culture of maintenance and i think this is a program that is facing the whole ghana not only that commander electoral area so i think that uh we need to put much effort to educate our people mm -hmm. how you know we will be put this place into use mm -hmm. that years and years to come whenever you come here you see that this place is as how you met it mm -hmm or how it was commissioned. I'd like you to quickly, briefly take us through how was life before this, you know, clinic and how do you expect life to be now that the clinic has been established? Uh, before this clinic, life was very, very difficult because I remember that somebody get ill at this community. We have to take the person all the way down to uh, Commander Junction, Kisi. There was no vehicle during that time. So I have to use my motor, the motor they give to assembly man, to take that person all the way there. Just imagine the rigs involved, sitting on a motor with a sick patient, taking all the way there. But I believe that Nana came in with a great help. So we believe that this facility is very, very good for us. It will help this community very well, especially the electric area. Those who want very, very unique health care will come here. Because not everywhere you go, you get this facility. This facility is very good. So it will help the community. So it will be happy like one hour. Uh those who got pregnant and hey, they were winning saying mm. say time drew ah like what be and what be we no eh eh din day what be now to and the hospital no wah had day no send pa kono baby yen pa na like emergency bim pa ah hmm or help it help us that's fine I mean the way me need JP the hospital wah ba ha because say awu kaya na oh eh din say wah fa wah fa kala. Why are they? She said, I woke up and not if you feel how many hours on two hours, be a no bedroom. In your couple, I shall wash from dream. To I need a pee, then I now will be a hospital and now my or I find. Oh, I had the old hobby, be all her. Say, young man, and I've been more, sir. Why you laugh? I have so call in the hall. Ever for call, I son of a bow above for your work. Oba call hospital. Sending Pano and Pedro Wupa. No, no, we won't see Nana Wabo Hospital, my young. I am This is one of the exceptional African Americans moving back to the homeland and doing marvelously well. <laughs> I am talking about one of the pioneers of this beautiful edifice you see here. I want to find out what was the inspiration behind this. Um, but firstly, it was my daughter. Yes, yeah, she, she came spoke to here. Us. For the first time in 2010. My husband and I have been coming since 1998. And what drew us to Ghana, because we had gone to Caribbean, we had gone to Jamaica, but what drew us to Ghana was the respect that especially the children had for the elders. Yeah. And how everyone greeted one another. And it reminded my husband and I of how we grew up that your next door neighbor was like your mom and your, your yeah. father. It was the same. If you got in trouble, you would get in trouble with the neighbor, with your mom, with the other neighbor, everybody. So it reminded us of that. So we felt very much at home. That's why we came. My first trip to Ghana in 2010, uh, a person by the name of Mensa, our tour guide, asked me if I could get a doctor to come to do free health checkups for the village. I didn't know how I would do it at the time and I told him, okay, if the people need a physician, I'll try. So 2012, we had a free health fair 
for five different villages okay. um maybe uh five thousand people or so oh, yeah. came so we went to each village and every year after that we started having uh free health fairs for the community here um, in 2012 we began construction on this clinic mm. so it's been 10 years wow. you know so from the support of uh, with God and the ancestors um, we have been able to use our own funds mm. with small donations and we have we have finally completed it so the inspiration was because it's needed when people are sick in this community they have to go to Kisi or to Cape Coast and many do not have vehicles here they don't have cars many they people are walking mm -hmm. yes so most times people die from illnesses that are preventable if only mm -hmm. they had a physician close by so we said by all means we are here in Ghana this is our community that we live in. We want to do something to help the people. So we did it. So, so throughout a decade, yes. we see the idea finally become materialized in this, you know, beautiful medical center. Mm -hmm. You know, what is so exceptional about this place? Um, it's exceptional because if people, if we were doing it to make money, we wouldn't put it at this location mm. we will put it in cape coast or omina or someplace like that but because it is located amongst three or four villages um it makes it extraordinary for our community here because there's nothing like this in this community so we're we are excited we want um our family here to have something nice mm. you know because we are in a village it doesn't have to be at the bottom mm. you know we can still have nice quality health care that's accessible even in the village so we are excited so thank quality health care <laughs> accessible in the village yes. in the next few years to come where do you envision this facility to be yeah so we are in the process of doing telemedicine with physicians in the u.s and cuba um, so I envision us growing, getting bigger, even adding on and having even more services mm -hmm. than what uh, than what we have now. So. God richly bless you on behalf of the people. I am a, um, I'm a Ghanaian and I just want to say a very big thank you for what you've done for the people. This is something that is really going to be there for many years. Yes. God richly bless you for thank this. You. Uh, such an awesome day it has been at the grand opening of this magnificent health center I mean the Ayarisafi Health Center we've interacted with the indigents we've interacted with the diasporans we've interacted with the brains behind this one and I must say as the indigents said it has come as a rescue it has come as a relief you know to the stress in commuting sick people to the hospital thank you so much for staying with me my name is Samuel Ofori Adame and my colleague Charity Kesua Frimpong until next time do stay with us. Bye now.